Hi, this is Amin and in this class I will show you how to use the Surround plugin with IdeaVim. As the name suggests, this plugin makes adding, removing or changing surroundings easier. So let's see this plugin in action. So for the sake of the example, let's say that I want to change uh, this surrounding of this string to uh, double quote. Normally in source code I will have uh, like a prettier running in the background that does this for me so I don't have to, to do it but let's say that this is what I want to do right now. So one way of doing this is maybe changing the double quote here, finding the other and maybe changing this like this or what you can do is delete till that same quote, delete both and paste something like that. Right. However, with the surround uh, plugin, you can do the change surround command, which is CS single quote, double quote. So basically change the surrounding from a single quote to double quote. Right. Also, uh, there is the capital S uh, command. So let's say I have the uh, check min version function selected and let's say I want to put a single quote. So I do capital S single quote. Right. And you can do the same thing without selecting with, with the uh, ys command. So it's ys inner word uh, single quote. However, I rarely use this command because I always forget it, right? Uh, and another thing you can do, let's say that I uh, go to the inside of the string here and I want to delete the, those quotes, right? So I can use the delete surrounding. So ds double quote. This plugin is not only for source code. So sometimes I use it when working with the readme files, for example, to make uh, something italic. So let's say that I have this selected and I want to put it in a uh, star to make it italic, right? So I can use the S and then put it like that. Also something that is very powerful, I think, with this plugin is with either HTML or um, XML. So let's say I have this selected here. I have this selected and then I want to put it in a, a bold tag. So I can do the S and as you can see it added the first one and also the exact uh, closing tag. So basically it knows what's a HTML tag. So another cool thing that it does is that it can handle also uh, the attribute of the tag. So let's say I want to replicate something like this one here and let's say some have some uh, some header header text and let's say I select this and then I hit capital S and then I do uh, H3 and you can see there I can see exactly what I'm writing align equal uh, center center and if I close it as you can see it did the right thing and then it closed the right tag so it it knows that the align equal center is an attribute and it is not the tag which is very powerful also while working with the tags uh, in order to change or delete tag there are two other commands that are very close to the one that we used with the uh, normal words so if I go up to that uh, English word here to delete the surrounding tag, just do DST. So delete surrounding tag, so it's easy to remember. And similarly, you can change the surrounding tag. So let's say I want to put like paragraph in instead of bold. So I do CST and then it's uh, P and that's it. As for the setup, the only thing you need to do is uh, enable the plugin and everything should work as I showed. And that's it. Thanks for watching and check out my other videos on IDFM.